It's not good morning, it's good afternoon. It's Wednesday the 14th of September. It's lovely, the sun's out and it's not raining. Look at that sky. Uh, we're cruising. We've had quite a busy morning really. We've been into Penkridge Market. We've done it before. Uh, we've got a few bits and bobs. Um, didn't seem as good as what it usually is. I think they, they all come out on a Saturday. Uh, obviously today is Wednesday. Uh, but we enjoyed ourselves. We had a walk around and then we met up with our lovely friend Graham. Um, I mentioned Graham, he's the lucky bugger that's got linear moorings back there in a beautiful house but he's brought us cake and goodies, bless him. Uh, thanks very much Graham, uh, really appreciate it and he gave us all a lift to pick up some parcels. Uh, there's two um, co-ops here at Penkridge, one in the town and one a good walk out of the town. The parcels went to the good walk out of the town so Graham's very nicely picked us up we picked up the parcels, done a bit of shopping. He came back here, had a cup of coffee and a piece of cake that he actually bought us. Uh, his oven's broke, so he couldn't bake his lemon drizzle cake. It was interesting, actually. He met Julie, which is just she's just stood up there, who also makes lemon drizzle cake. Ooh, they were daggers, you know what I mean? They're both excellent bakers. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get going. Uh, we've got a subscriber and a supporter of the channel and a lovely lady called Dee. It was up at Hatherton Junction, I think it's said, it's called. It's about a three, three and a half hour cruise up there. Um, we do have things planned and we'll talk about that when we get going. So uh, yeah, we will see you in a minute. Unknowns to me, um, <laughs> Nikki started a soup, a bacon and leek soup that we're having for tea tonight. So she's cooking away, but Martin's volunteered to do the lock for us. So he's up there, bad back and all, windless in hand. Uh, so he is doing the lock for us. So we're just taking the boat in. There's Julie there, somewhere. Yeah. Get back in and bake cakes. <laughs> <laughs> bake cakes. I will, I will. We'll, we'll see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Yeah, so Martin, bless him, he said he'd do the lock for us. Nikki's just carrying on with the soup for now. She's just frying down some bacon, I think, and onions, so it's a little bit tricky at the moment. But Martin, bless him, is, uh, is doing the lock for us. That's it, finance lock done. Uh, Martin had help off this chap. He's on a hire boat there and he said he'd come and help, so that's very kind of him. On our merry way now, hopefully three, three and a half hour cruise should do us today. And if this sun stays out, that'll be great. Thanks very much, Martin. You. Catch up with you soon, mate. Take care. See you later, mate. You later. Take care, bud. Thanks very much, fella. Thank you. See you both. Life on the canals. Never met that gentleman before in my life. But the, he moored up, said he'd come and help Martin. So uh, that is boat life. It's like going back in time when neighbours help neighbours. You could leave your house unlocked um, and go around for a cup of tea at your neighbours. It's, it's basically like turning the clock back. There behind me, you can see another popular pub round here, the Cross Keys. Uh, I believe Martin and Julie met some friends there last night. They said it was very nice. But you do just have to be careful on this bend. It uh, gets a little bit narrow, but uh, there's only one boat moored, so all good for us today. Yep, just back the revs off here, just around this corner is Otherton Boat Haven here. Small marina, it looks well equipped. Quite a few boats crammed into quite a small area there.
Well, we did just more up here. They sell the brand of coal that we like and they've got gas bottles and we need both. We're trying to get sorted now, ready for the cold autumn. It gets cold at night now. So we just want to be prepared, especially with two kids on board. And I'm Nesh as well. I feel the cold terribly. Um, so it would have been good to get some. So we moored up there on the service pontoon and we couldn't find anyone. Uh, Nikki went off walking, couldn't see any moorers, no sign of a soul. So uh, we'll go somewhere else. <laughs> off the tin lock. <laughs> okay, babe. So we're on our way to our next lock. Nikki does like to walk and she likes to walk with Primrose. Uh, Dale would have walked, but just in case they see another dog, he can sort of throw a little bit of a fit. And uh, he doesn't really look where he's going and we're really afraid he might end up in the canal. So uh, he's with me, he's down there, he's having a sleep down there. He's quite comfortable. Little Dixie is in the boat with the, with the kids at the moment. Uh, Nikki likes to walk, so she's walking to Rob Baston Lock, which is the next one. I've got a little story to tell about the next lock. Uh, if you watched the vlog when we were going south, you'd know what the story is. Uh, but I'm going to say it anyway. See you there. You may be able to hear in the background the very busy M6 just behind these trees here and that holds a key to the story that I'm going to tell you about Rod Baston Lock. Just coming up to the lock landing now. Just moored up at the lock, and looking at the rate the water's coming out, uh, Nikki's had to drain it. Now, here is the lock, and just over there is the very busy M6 motorway. 
Now, until the motorway was built, there used to be a lock keeper's cottage here, and indeed a lock keeper in it. But now, all that lies of it is this. Yeah, just a corner of the house remains, unfortunately. Further up that road, they did build a bridge over the M6 to allow access to the lock cottage, but unfortunately, the lock keeper couldn't stand it anymore, and he moved out, and then they couldn't find anyone else to move in. And so, the lock keeper's cottage was demolished. Well, Nikki's got the lock set for me, she's just opening the gates, and I will be demolished, unless I get chugs, to, chugs in there quick. <laughs> And as luck would have it, another boat's uh, just coming down the lock. So uh, Nikki's just closing the paddle this side, and then she's going to jump on chugs. And then we're on to our next one. Blimey, that one was quick. Just came round a couple of bends. Now we're at Boggs Lock, but there's life up there, so there's a boat coming down people everywhere at this one one boat coming out we're going in and then there's another boat waiting to come down as well so uh, all good no water wasted I like it like that Two more locks to go and then the cruise to our destination. We got Brick Kiln Lock next and then Gailey Lock uh, by the Gailey Roundhouse. Quite a famous uh, building on the canal. I think there's a cafe there upstairs. I think I'm right in saying, but I think downstairs is a bookshop. I might be wrong. The cafe might have closed now, but uh, I'm sure we'll have a look. But by the time we get there, it'll probably be closed anyway. Uh, very odd lock gates there. If I remember, I'll film them for you. A boat hasn't long left this next lock, Brick Kiln Lock, but uh, Nicky did have to drain it, so there must be uh, leaky gates at the top. You can see Nicky there and Primrose. Oh, bless him. Well, from what I can see, those top gates don't seem to be leaking much. I don't really know what happened there. Never mind, this lock, then Gailey Roundhouse, then a cruise through a horrible chemical works and then we'll be at our mooring for the evening. Hello. <laughs> 
Hello. <laughs> Gaily lock and then a beautiful chemical plant. Mmm, lovely. Just coming up now to Gailey Roundhouse.